This beautiful church takes its name from the 4th century Saint Martin of Tours. On a cold winter's day, Saint Martin, a Roman soldier, cut his cloak in half to share it with a beggar. On that same night, the beggar came to him in a dream as Christ wearing the half cloak. And he said, for as much as you did it to the least of these, you did it to me. Today, the spirit of this great saint lives on. From the earliest times, St. Martin in the Fields has helped the poor and needy. Known as the Church of the Ever Open Door, its work with homeless and vulnerable people continues on the site today, and it's called The Connection at St. Martin's. We see something like five and a half thousand different people a year at the rate of 220, 250, a day. And the task is not just to feed and clothe them, the task is to help them find their voice, get on their feet, gain self, self, a sense of self-worth and to get their life back in control again. I come here primarily for the art. I was homeless, spent about three years on the street. The open door policy is very important to most of us because while they're in here, they've got a bit of warmth, uh, food. If they want to, they've got company. It's got me back into the art, so it means a lot to people. It gives, especially people on the street, it gives them something to think about rather than their problems, like if they're mentally ill, they've got company in here. Um, if they've uh, got problems, they've got someone to discuss it with and hopefully use it. Alcoholics don't tend to drink so much. Who's on the street is so boring, so they get a bottle to drink. It keeps people safe. They don't want anything glamorous. They don't want any comforts, just the basics of a, um, a floor to sleep on and uh, um, toilets and things like that, because it's quite dangerous on the streets while they're asleep. I actually come to the connections because um, it keeps me off the street most of the time and uh, I'm actually registered as, a, as an alcoholic and it actually breaks my day up so that I'm not actually drinking all, all the time. It stops the destructive behaviour that I was associated with. It's given me more friends. Uh, I was a bit of a loner before I actually started coming here. Yes. Well, come see us, okay. Come with me, I'll show you. Oh, I do the laundry downstairs and uh, keep myself clean. Yes, I come every day, it's been up. I come every day to get out of the cold, a bit of dinner, a bit of breakfast. It's very cold out on them streets. I became homeless in Birmingham through a repossession and I came down to London to, in the hope of finding accommodation. I came into St Martin's after wandering around for about 11 months and by then I was pretty malnourished. I didn't know about places like St Martin's where you could come in, they had this open door policy Eventually, they found me somewhere to live too, which was really what I was looking for, you know. So I now live in a really very nice hostel and have regular meals. And um, I'm no, no longer walking around looking for things to eat. <laughs> Many years. 